Chapter 3, I will give you my virginity, your highness. On my 18th birthday, my father left early, and when I stop him, Father, today is the day you promised we'd leave the root kingdom. He nodded and kissed my cheeks. Yes, but after midnight so we don't get caught. I narrow my eyes asked him curiosity, then where are you going now? He smiled and cheerfully said, and going another pack. I meet one of my old best friend. He will help us to move out of the rogue safely, and another thing. I need to buy a nice gift for you. Congratulations Helena. Finally, you are 18. I hugged him tightly, thank you father, but please watch out and take care of yourself. He patted my head gently, I will, I promise, wait for me. Our past in my father didn't appear, I started to be worried, he promised me to come back soon. That's why I rushed to the royal castle, I don't know but I felt that something wrong happened to my father, and yes, I saw the guards holding my father and he was chained and handcuffed. I screamed and gasped running towards him, father. But, he gestured to me not to come closer, he mouthed to me, stay away from this Helena and head. Just run away at midnight, sorry baby. But they busted me while I was passing the border territory. He looked so down and flustered not because he was busted but because he didn't get what I wanted on my birthday. He sacrificed his life and this happened because of me I felt guilty. But I waited to see what would happen. I didn't want my father to worry more about me. Until they dragged my father inside the castle. And a lot of wolves are already inside. It was like a public court. I hear King Ace groaning and yelling and smashing things. I have heard a lot about him. Heartless and merciless and this passion for blood. And I didn't meet him since I was just 14 years old and he killed that teacher because he touched my body. I didn't know, his voice was grating and echoing in the whole castle. I can't deny that he was scary, but deep inside me I'm not scared of him. With no reason, until I heard that. I said no one is allowed to make friendships with the other kingdoms. And you didn't obey my orders. Kines was groaning, and my dad was chained down his feet, and begging and sobbing weakly. I was there in the back. I wanted to do anything to help my dad. He was my everything. I was living by him and for him. I wasn't hesitant to make a move, but my father asked me to not interfere and hide. But I couldn't stand as paralyzed anymore, especially when the king ace hollered in his graving tone. Take him to the dungeon and torture him. I hurriedly ran to my father and hugged him and yelled, No please, don't, I will do anything to my father, please take me instead of him. King E stared at me and pulled me up, he was tall and, and his grip was too strong, he leaned to my face and mumbled, And what can you do for your father? Everyone made fun of me and laughed loudly, but not King Ace. He was glaring at me with softening eyes, I gulped nervously. I will give you, I paused and he nodded patiently to hear my deal. I bravely finally said, I will give you my virginity, your highness. He surprisingly leaned to my ear. No baby, your offer is denied. I gasped and knelt down on his feet begging, please, please, ask anything. The king roared and pulled me to stand up on my feet. Don't ever, ever beg Helena. I was shocked. I didn't expect he knew my name. I was nothing and unnoticed at all. Could it be his supernatural powers? I blinked. He moved his arm to my cheek and said, Be my queen if you want to save your father. And before he could continue his last word, I raced my words confidently. Yes, I Helena Gerald France. Except you King Ace Carlos Dimitri as my mate. Thank you for watching and reading. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming novel videos. Next chapter will be uploaded Tom. Thank you.